that's when she said it Look me dead in the face as cash or credit And I shizzed in my pants It's perfectly normal, nothing wrong with me But we're going to need a clean up on aisle three Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Daichan here, and it's time to react to some more fate memes. In addition to the one at the start, I've gathered a wholesome 69 more memes from across our fandom. That includes Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, and my own Discord. As usual, I'll be providing credit whenever available. Sometimes, though, memes just find their way in here without a source or a watermark. If you find your meme in this video, feel free to give yourself a shout out in the comments. Also, since it's nasty and cold out where I live, I felt like escaping reality a bit by chilling at the beach. Gotta say, you has the best fashion sense. Without further ado, let's begin. Sup, gamers? <laughs> Wait, are you drinking your own monster? My perception of that can has been forever changed. Speaking of, Perhaps Astolfo's little Twitter fiasco has helped Monster Energy with them stonks. I personally didn't know what Twisted Tea was till that guy was clobbered with one. Memes are the future, but y'all probably shouldn't be drinking energy drinks. Shit's horrible for ya. Okay, Hans, use human observation A. Please tell me that the thing touching the back of my coat is your sword. Hey man, Astolfo may be packing, but he's still a good boy. Well, I say that, but I have two swords. What a coincidence. So do I. <laughs> Wasn't having lightsaber duels a gay reference at some point? Pretty sure I remember hearing that as a kid. Though canonically, Astolfo is at best by. Dojins really misrepresent him. Again, seriously. Whenever I see him taking it from Gutako, she's the one rocking a torpedo. <laughs> at least it makes so much sense when John saw his business. Okay, okay, that's enough Astolfo. How about Valentine's memes? The latest iteration of the event was fully voiced and totally awesome, but I had no idea the game data was 5.5 gig. Is that true? I mean, really, what actually happened to players who didn't have the space? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> now here's a problem we can all understand. When you want to roll, but Jank got no quartz. Nice recreation with the figmas, by the way. Oh, oh no! There's no one there for Valentine's Day! Thank goodness you'll always have someone. There's a reason Matahari is a friend point servant. She dances her way into all our hearts. Meanwhile, we've got Jean crushing our hopes and dreams. <laughs> she just friend zoned our asses. I think it's because she's fallen for that dolphin D! <laughs> Ah uh, yes, there goes BB being a tease. The question is, will she actually let you finish that Pocky? I know Mashu would, but you Miaoi? I suspect it's a trap. Lure you in with the temptation of a kiss, then rip your head off. <laughs> Mordred almost let us do this, except Matahari put her up to it. It's okay though, hearing her get all embarrassed is worth it. So here's a question, who's got it better? Shiro on the Stay Night timeline, or Riska on the FGO one. They're both the harem lords of their respective worlds, but technically every girl in this picture can also give chocolates to Riska. Ah, screw it. Riska's got more waifu, but Shiro's got golden bathtub. <laughs> Let's call it even. <laughs> See, I told you. Time has stopped. The scene lasts less than a second, but I'll remember this scene vividly even when I've gone to hell. Heck, this isn't even the actual scene I'm talking about either. This is just a prelude. Hooray for Hollow Ataraxia! So this is what happens when all the Valkyries serve their leader, and their leader is madly in love with one man. Sigurd's got it pretty damn good. Then there's Karin, skipping the formalities and just giving us cold hard cash. <laughs> She's just reimbursing you for the cost of rolling for her. That's damn considerate, actually. It's like Kiyohime giving herself to you, but less raunchy. While we're on the topic of Karin, you can't defeat me. We know, but she can. Father, why didn't you pay my child support? 
Honestly, girl, you're best off not having anything to do with that creep. He probably spent all his money on Mapo Tofu anyway. All his anger must come from trying not to ass blast into oblivion. The guy summons Angra Mainyu every time he visits the toilet. <laughs> Yet somehow, even without Kirei's parentage, Karin is equally twisted. To the untrained eye, she appears angelic. Yet those who know her see her as a demon. I don't know, that's pretty harsh. The only bad things she does really aren't her fault to begin with. <laughs> this whole interaction is priceless. Please get good doujins now that you're an FGO. Please? She's 14, by the way, if you don't know. Then my friend Manpig is all. Your Avi is literally the person who banged said 14-year-old. The whole anime age thing is just too much. Seriously, in Prisma Elia, she's old enough to be the school nurse. How does that happen? But yeah, about that Angra Mainyu business, Obviously, he's an Avenger, and Karin's a ruler. I think we know what that means. <laughs> I'll admit this scene wasn't exactly romantic, but Karin does have a masochistic nature that seems to have wanted it. After all, she was suppressing her power so that she wouldn't sprout spikes and kill him. She was even curious what would happen if she were to give birth to the child of all the world's evils. <sighs> Sheesh, even without her dad around, she's too much like him. <laughs> it makes you really wonder who's wearing the pants in their relationship. Well, that's JP's problem for now. Us NA players are still getting excited about King Protea and the Soccer of Five. Here's an inside peek at BB making her alter egos. Sakura, divine spirits, fan service, and everything deadly. <laughs> of course, BB lets that last part in on purpose. Since this is a rerun, we can fight fire with fire. Summer BB can lock in Buster Brave Chains so that Martha can smack the crap out of regular BB. Wouldn't that be weird, fighting yourself like that? It's like, please, don't kill me too much, okay? <laughs> of course, BB's nothing compared to King Protea's wicked challenge quest. Seriously, holding out for 21 turns just for a single chance to one-shot her? She is a legit titan. <laughs> At the same time, compared to how we meet her in Foxtail, as soon as she joins us in FGO, she's a total sweetheart. Go! But yeah, this game kind of owns your soul. Back-to-back <laughs> -back events, all of which have a huge grind factor. Forget trying to have a life if you want to get everything. I'm sure that when Lost Belt 4 comes around, they'll only give us like, what, one week before piling on more events? If you happen to live in Japan, it's even worse. You've got to wail and grind two games, now that the arcade game has entirely separate content. I'm an FGO mobile player. What are you? I'm FGO arcade. Cool, we can be friends until you start to get exclusive content. After that, it gets difficult. <laughs> yup. I wouldn't mind having my hands on Femme Merlin, Sexy Sita, and Suzuka Gyaru. Maeve, on the other hand, has a thing for Satanta, aka Shotaku. <laughs> Exclusive stuff would make sense, if only we actually had access to arcades. If it's not COVID, it's the fact that only one chain of arcades in the US would even consider stocking it. Type Moon still doesn't understand us. FGO Arcade isn't as profitable as intended. Any suggestions? Exclusive servants! Exclusive costumes! Port it to console and stop neglecting our global audience. <laughs> I would totally be that guy if they let me in the office. Looking for a VN? Why not Fate Stay Night? It's longer than the Lord of the Rings. It comes with two rape scenes. Spend over 30 hours of fun reading everything again to figure out why Ryder killed you in day 13. It comes with three cool routes filled with awkward romance, Pain. And one where Gilgamesh forgets he has armor. Best yet, it's endorsed by Taiga. Go read some words, you fucking weeb. <laughs> when you start wondering if Zelrich made the Kaleido Sticks, knowing they'd lead to magical girl lechery, my goals are beyond your understanding. <laughs> Shiro is good, but he can be better. Okay, well, Emmy is cool and all, but I like the idea he can still learn from his younger self. 
Einstein once said, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting different results. Which is exactly what we do in farming for ascension materials! Same goes for the agony of gotcha. A couple Caesars or Geronimos is enough to bring tears to my eyes. Oh, this is perfect. I hate you! I hate your rates, your story, your gameplay! Fuck you! So, when is the next banner? <laughs> I'm sure we all have our own reasons for playing this game. I'll stick around as long as Artoria stays on the cover art. For a lot of people, it's the blend of fiction, history, and mythology. Fate Stay Night, teaching history better than any school. It's true. A couple gender bends here and there are a small inaccuracy to pay for the sheer amount of interest it's given me. Now when I hear anything historical, I at least recognize it and have a foundation for my understanding. It's great. Perhaps the hardest part will be one day accepting the reality that your big titty pirate was actually a bearded fancy pants. <laughs> Perhaps ignorance is bliss. When it comes to Columbus, which version do you think is the worst? The grumpy asshat from reality or the demented lunatic FGO gives us? To be fair, a lot of this stuff, especially the mythology, is a product of interpretation. When faced with a Western interpretation that makes mythical creatures look nasty and horrifying, I'd rather believe even the scariest monsters are DTF. <laughs> Makes me wonder, though, how Merlin, assuming he were real in any capacity, would feel if he knew people thought to him as a luxurious bunny girl. <laughs> Fans be wanting more male fan service and fate, and it looks like the figure companies are answering your prayers. Damn, those nipples could cut glass. Hast thou gone mad, contractor? Just a few, I'll only take a few pictures. Oh, Lord Mage, here you are. I had something to discuss with. Hmm? <laughs> when you have a reputation as the king of all assassins, living close to death at all moments, yet you're defeated by a frilly pink skirt. Speaking of Hassan, Cursed Arm Zabania works by having him touch his opponent and create a mirror of their heart. When he crushes the fake heart, it crushes the real one too. So what would happen if he were to beat his own meat? Could he create an illusionary dong and fap to it in place of the original? Could he fap with the illusion and the original dong at the same time? Step of Death is asking all the right questions. <laughs> hey Liz, are you a candy bar? Because you're half sweet, half nuts, and the perfect snack. <coughs> what? But, um, I guess it's okay if you want a little taste. There was lots of G-rated cuddling later. Cuddling, huh? I thought that would have gone further. Death to the Genji, but not Ushiwaka. <laughs> well, of course not. Who could hate Ushi? But isn't that also supposed to be Ushi? I don't know. <laughs> JP players, feel free to explain. When Artoria sees Shiro after what I assume is over thousands of years, he shows up and she's all, feed me. <laughs> These next ones are here thanks to Ulti Shadow from my Discord. Not all vampires suck blood, some suck dick. <laughs> Probably not in the remake. How would you rate Billy as a caregiver? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Except that he's never remembered my birthday or paid child support. In fact, he usually just jabs me with a big stick. Ow! I'll jab you good, you filthy bug! Why won't you love me, Dad? I'll be anything you want me to be! I want you to be dead! <laughs> I want these two to be happy, and yet I can't stop laughing. Mom, can I have a Tonoshiki? No, we have Tonoshiki at home. The Tonoshiki at home, and it's just Jekyll and Hyde. Well, actually, there's a lot in common. They both have knives and struggle with evil murderous impulses. Both have glasses, except only one of them is a sister slammer. <laughs> Ritsuka's parents, when he comes back home after FGO, with a harem consisting of a purple shield girl, Jeanne d'Arc's edgy sister, the goddess of death, and a gender-bent Miyamoto Musashi. <laughs> after FGO? Will that day ever truly come? Also, Musashi's not gonna be able to come along, and it pisses me off. What's taking you so long, Ku? You having a chug? Oi, I'm doing my business, you thick wagon. Lay off. Whoa, need your ma to wipe your crease for you? Fuck you! 
built up already, you bloody wankers. <laughs> I don't normally care for accents and dubs, but I'd love to hear an official Scottish Skahawk. And <laughs> apparently this catastrophe is an official art for Fate Zero. Um, who the hell is that in the top right corner? If you think King Hassan had it bad, just check out Herc. <laughs> Okay, so Abby is funny, but why the golf club? <laughs> Not Excalibur, too! Yeah, just how is that supposed to work? I guess we shouldn't accept swords from lake fairies without a warranty. <laughs> oh! Is that what happens to poor Paul Bunyan when she ass slams Amber Fists? It's like a cavity search that reaches to your spirit origin. For as popular as Musashi is, she still hasn't conquered the Google image results. This is accurate too, I just checked. Still, it's only a matter of time. Ha 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 ha! Shrink Ray! With this tool, you can. Thank you, Da Vinci John. I'll take it. Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining. By the way, Master, what are you gonna do with that? Obvious, isn't it? <laughs> so you can full body motorboat Gorgon's knockers. I like how she's all, Master, why do you have to do this? Serenity is abusing Caldea's network while on the job. You've got to cut her some slack, though. There's only one master in the entire world who can touch her. That said, I can't tell what she's searching. Can anyone read this? Do not bring the French near me, for there will be heavy consequences if you do. <laughs> yup. Arcoate doesn't appreciate CL, but she might just have to learn how to share. Hello, Solaire from Dark Souls. Hello, Gawain from FGO. Let us unite in our appreciation of the great Y pose of dominance. Or is that just the pose of Rome? <laughs> Did you really think I'd die just because I was killed? <laughs> so Shiro's all. I don't like this painting, Saber. Its smug aura mocks me. You can never have too many women in swimsuits. What better way to relax than with a feast for the eyes? Nice. Gilga knows what's up. This is such an anime thing. I'd like to see an actual fighter try this. When he makes you ahega before even putting it in. Ooh. What is that? A psycho fuck? Come one and all to Fujino's hit TV game show. Will it... Bend. <laughs> For Valentine, she gives you a chocolate bridge, thinking you'd enjoy breaking it. You can tell the quality of a series based on how many characters Maya Sakamoto VAs. So apparently these characters are all just based off Shinobu, huh? Either way, can you think of an anime she voices in that's bad? They might be onto something. <laughs> Ever wanted to see Artoria give the middle finger? Well, here you go. Gudako and her quartz are just friggin' scary, though. I've come up with a new recipe! Shiro and Sakura working together in the kitchen? No wonder Artoria is semi-conscious in the background. <laughs> I'm still patiently waiting for that Switch game. Can't wait to play it with you all! So what you're telling me is Tokiyomi and the god Anu are both equally shitty parents? Huh, never thought of Arishkigal and Sakura being in common, but it makes sense when you put it like this. This is cute, this is hot, but this is hotter. Is there actually a kink for this? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Just keep it to fiction, okay? On that same note, it's okay to love nursery rhyme, as long as you realize that if she were real, it'd be a nursery crime. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Oh no! Da Vinci doesn't approve of pineapple on pizza? No, no! Emia, I don't deserve this! What did I ever do to you? Ritsuka, this is your doing! Burn in hell! Burn in hell, you bastard! I curse the grail! You will remember the grudge of Da Vinci! <laughs> and there you have it! Another intense batch of memes for y'all! Thanks to all the people who made these, you're facilitating a rather wonderful fandom if I do say so myself. Also, thank you all for watching! Be sure to let me know which ones you liked in the comments below! 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this channel, help me beat the algorithm by liking, commenting, and sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and, most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of my anime discussion, lore, or Let's Play content. If you want to support me directly, there are now three ways that all provide the same benefits. You can click Join here on YouTube, or join Patreon or Subscribestar for access to exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate your fandom!